Composites are light and strong materials that you can see being used more and more around you in planes, in windmill blades, boats and tennis rackets. In building and construction more and more facades and bridges are being made of composites. The fact that the use of composites is a growth market reflects that these materials are light, strong and maintenance free and that they can be used to produce free form structures and to integrate multiple functions. The disadvantage of this beautiful material is that a it is very energy intensive and b at the end of its use it cannot be recycled properly. In this lesson we will talk about the development of biocomposites which offer the, the advantages of composites but without the disadvantages. A composite is a material consisting of at least two macroscopically distinguishable materials that work together in order to achieve better results. Composites are a growth market because they are light, strong, form retaining and maintenance free. Think of airplanes, cars such as the BMW i3 and windmill blades. But also building facades such as here at the Annexis office and the sun protection screen of the province of North Holland. A disadvantage of conventional composites is that they a require a lot of energy to make resin and glass or carbon fibers and b that they are difficult to disassemble at the end of their use phase. For these reasons biocomposites are being developed. Biocomposites consist of natural fibers such as flax, hemp, sisal and binders as bio-based plastic. The fibers give strength to the material and the resin holds it together, which ensures that the product stays rigid and protects the fibers from moisture. Often, core materials such as balsa wood or bio-based foams are added to create an even lighter and rigid structure. Fillers such as calcium carbonates are used to improve processability and fire retardants or dyes can also be added to optimize material properties. The pros and cons of biocomposites. Biocomposites have high stiffness at low density. This offers particular advantages in the transport sector but also for example in the transport of construction products or the creation of lighter foundations. Biocomposites also have good vibration absorption. This gives advantages in earthquake prone areas, but also in masts for windmills and for instance facade panels. Biocomposites have a low carbon footprint compared to conventional materials such as aluminum. Biocomposites can have antibacterial properties as with hemp composite. Beautiful, free-form products can be realized with biocomposites. An extra stiffness can be obtained by choosing a suitable shape. For example, compare the stiffness of a sheet of paper with a rolled sheet of paper. For biocomposites, a solution must be found for the post-use phase, however. Recent research has succeeded in separating the fiber and resin components of biocomposites. Ultimately, there is a promise that these composites can be crushed and used as a fertilizer for growing mycelium, for example. Some important considerations when using biocomposites are a. their performance in human environments, b. their properties when exposed to fire, and c. their loads on compressive forces. Additional research is needed in all of these aspects. Examples of applications. Bicycle signs, housing, signs, plant pots, street furniture, sanitation, facades, bridges, acoustic panels, furniture. Next generation biocomposites. In the near future, products are being made from residual materials, such as cut grass and recycled toilet paper combined with resins from sewer sludge. Long fibers give stronger material properties than short fibers. 
Some residual materials may therefore have less strength, but they are also cheaper. This can support an interesting business case. Conclusion Biocomposites offer an interesting material for use as construction material and as facade cladding material. By using the extra advantages such as lightweight, sound insulating, freedom of form, interesting environmentally friendly buildings can be created with added value.